As I'm sure you know, mounted animal heads are so trendy right now. From sheep to bison to pigs, you can find them everywhere. So using pictures I found online, I drew up patterns that I would use to make a wooden deer head, the most popular mounted head of them all. I began with a sheet of one by 12 inch pine. I traced the head pattern three times and cut it out using a jigsaw. I cut out notches where the antlers and the ears would be placed. I glued the three heads together, then added screws to keep them in place. Using a power sander, I evened out all the edges. I wanted to add some dimension to my deer head, so I made a pattern for cheeks and neck. These would eventually be two separate pieces. I traced two sets onto the pine board, and I also traced on the ear pattern. After cutting the ears, one set of antlers, and two sets of the cheek and neck pieces, and a mounting board, I sanded everything and wiped all the dust off with a cotton cloth. I attached the neck and cheek pieces with wood glue and screws. You'll notice that the cheek piece has a 45 degree cut to give it even more dimension, and I did this by simply moving the blade on my jigsaw. For the mounting board, I cut a typical looking mounting board shape and sanded it. I flipped it over and added two screws to the middle. I placed the deer head against the mounting board and screwed it in place. I inserted the ears into the back notch after I added some wood glue and I tapped them into place and added a screw to make sure that they stayed. The same thing was done with the antlers. I filled all the screw holes with wood filler and sanded. For the nose, I scored the wood with a utility knife and then made a 45 degree cut for dimension. I sanded the entire piece, and when it was dry, I applied wax. So trendy, and I made it myself. I hope this inspires you to make something that keeps your home up to date and looking fresh.